and gentlemen, and welcome to the Salt Lake City Sports Complex for the 2017 Utah High School Hockey State Championship Tournament. Tonight, it's winner take all in the Division I Affiliated Championship as the Murray High School Spartans take on the Park City High School Miners. Starting in goal tonight for the Park City Miners is number 19, Andrew Peterson, as he was a outstanding product in the last championship game as they forced this winner take all contest, a shutout for him against this Murray High School squad as he'll be in between the pipes tonight for the Miners. As for the Murray Spartans, it'll be Michael Richens once again in between the pipes for Murray, as he was in the pipes just two days ago in the championship game. He'll get the nod once again for the Spartans. There's a look at the Murray High School bench. We got a chance to catch up with the head coach of the Murray Spartans before tonight's contest to get their thoughts on this winner-take-all championship game. Our guys know that it's not gonna be easy. You know, nothing, nothing of this magnitude comes easy, and we know that. It hasn't happened all year. We've been in dogfights, you know, two-to-one games, one-to-one games. It's just that's the way I think it's going to be for us. So we don't expect it uh, to, to change, and we're going to come out, uh, made some lineup changes, and we're going to do some different things and, and show people what, uh, what Murray Hockey can do. And there's head coach Josh Angevin and the Park City High School minor Coaching staff, we got a chance to catch up with them as well as they look to go back to back against this Murray High School Spartan squad for a state title. You know, we got to basically bring the same game that we, we played the other night. Um, you know, kind of the game plan going in is keep it simple but be effective. You know, we kind of fought to get to the position that we're in, so we're grateful to be here. Um, we do have eight seniors on the team, so they're obviously helping lead the charge here. Um, we're just plugging away. Sorry, those are the rules, guys. Introducing the starting lineups for your two championship contenders. Number 11, Mark Corazzi. Number 78, Bo Peterson. And number 88, Alex Smith. Number 31, Kyle Walterson. And number 83, Teddy Elbert. In goal for the Park City Miners, number one, Andrew Peterson. Starting for Murray, on defense, number 33, Nate Spencer. Number 50, Judson Hicks. Forwards, number 19, Sean McKenna. McKenna, number 55, Dylan Hale, and number 97, Paxton Nielsen, in goal for Murray, number 17, Mike Richards. Now please rise as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem. Tonight's anthem will be sung by Miss Reagan Tolley of the Oak Grove Mountaineers. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Give proof to 
getting ready for our winner-take-all championship game. Murray is in the black uniforms, moving left to right in our first period. Park City in the white uniforms, right to left. Two teams meet at center ice. Matt Coma, Nate Hill, Alex Romero joining you for this one. 2017 Utah High School Hockey State Championship between Park City and Murray is underway. As Murray wins the opening draw into the Park City zone, immediately here on the near side is McKenna trying to play towards the front of the zone. Stolen away by Smith as he'll play it ahead for Park City. Peterson at the red line, backhanded to the Murray blue line, gloved down by the Spartans, but right back to Peterson. He comes in one-on-one, -on -one, dodges one man, now walks in, a shot saved by Richens. First shot takes 30 seconds for Park City to find Nate R or Mike Richens, one of the several Richens for this Murray Spartan squad tonight. As Park City with their first change, Murray has it in their own end. Second meeting in a row between these two teams. Park City, a 4-0 win just two days ago to force this winner-take-all championship game. Having to come through the loser's bracket after falling to Murray in the semifinals. As a shot from Murray is an easy save from Peterson, and he holds on for the first whistle of the night. Face off won by the Miners. So they bring it back behind the net. Both teams have had success in the state tournament over the past couple of years. Murray was in this championship game a season ago before falling to Beaumont. Up the near side boards, kept in by Murray. On the near side is Nate Richens, tried to send one in front, was hacked at by the Miners. Still loose here on the near side, now picked up by Park City. Skating up the near side, playing it ahead. Here comes Moeller into the zone. Three on two comes Park City. Center pass off of Murray, stick. Over the far side for Klein, turn around shot. Richens with the save. Richens played really well a couple of days ago. He just he just had a couple bounces not go his way. Let's see how he rebounds tonight after uh, after a four nothing loss on Monday. Two teams at the far circle. Face off one by the Miners. Klein in the corner lays it down low. Finds a man that's Braxton King in the corner. Now it's stolen away by Park City. On the near side center pass in front jammed up by the Spartan defense. So holds for Park City near side. As Ehlers will send him into the corner. Good check here by Murray on the near side. They'll get it out to the top of the point. Albert can't keep it onside. D2D pass at the red line. Skating it in now as Park City. They'll send it in to make a change. Back is Max Buckwalter for the Murray Spartans. Gives up on the near side looking for Thomas Fetzer. Off of his stick, tries to clear the zone. He does, and it's offside on Park City. Face off in the neutral zone, won by Park City. They'll send it immediately into the Murray zone, racing back after number 33, Nathan Fetzer. As the center pass in front, finds a man, backhand shot, saved by Richens, and a pile of forms in front of him as he holds on for the whistle. Great tracking by, the, uh, by Mike Richens for that puck. Not a lot of room to see in the middle of the ice, so that was a great job tracking that puck. Face off here on the near side. Park City buzzing so far in this championship game. In the shot count, three to one. As here comes Dylan Hale, one man to beat. Before he gets a shot on Peterson, he gets kind of jammed up by the Park City defense. Good back check once again from the Miners. Just trying to break it out on the far side off of a stick. Love down by Park City. They get it out to the neutral zone before it's sent right back in. As Park City up the near side, Walterson crossed the ice, has Peterson through his feet. Chapped up the far side. Park City will play it to the red line. Now Peterson will send it all the way in. They'll chase after as he holds up a check right in front of the Murray bench. Center pass in front. Has a man looking for the back door is Moeller. Just a little behind him. Top of the point, Albert. Back to Moeller near side. Hashmark's pass is blocked by the Spartans. Nathan Fetzer up the near side boards. Trying to clear the Spartans. It's kept in by Albert. Second attempt by McKenna. Can't clear the zone either. Over on the far side, Fetzer and Peterson battle in the far corner. Second, Spartan enters the play. McKenna digs it out. Colazzi will play it back down low. Back behind Judson Hicks, rings it up the far boards, has Dylan Hale waiting for it. Park City in the middle of a change, now breaks a three on two for the Spartans. Pass off target, cut off by the Miners. Now they come two on two. 
Moeller comes in with LaShawn. He'll walk in. Moeller with a nice shot. Save. Richens. That is off. And a stoppage of play. Another big save from Mike Richens. Mike Richens standing on his head early here so far, Matt. That was a great stop by him. Great rebound control. Uh, Moeller tried to throw that pass off the right pad of, of uh, Mike Richens. Mike Richens wasn't having it. 12.20 to go in the first period of our championship game as Park City wins another draw. Lane looking for Moeller down low, takes a funny bounce off the Zamdors. There's a shot in front. Oh, just went wide by inches. And Moeller with a backhand attempt. As the two on two battle over in the far corner now ensues. Loose down in the corner, trying to kick it up the boards is Jake Elwell. Now three on two, Murray able to dig it out. Now the center pass finds his man, skating along is Nate Richens. He'll fire a shot, but it's offside. Blown dead at the blue one. Face off back in the neutral zone after the offside call on Murray. Trying to win the draw straight forward, stolen away by Park City. Here's Klein. Skates it into the zone. He'll take a check over on that far board. It's number 73, Robert Zito with the check. Here's side, Aaron. Law, or excuse me, Elbert lost it. Now Hanscat lost in his feet, stolen away by Murray. Is sent up the far boards by Hicks. It's going to be kept in the zone, just barely onside. And right back out off of a shin pad. Elbert all the way back for Park City. He'll backhand it up the near side. Hanscat trying to chip it along as it cut off at the blue line. Two Spartans digging after it here. Now second minor enters the play. Everett was trying to get it out. Pass over the far side, now pass to Airbury. He gets run out of the play, good check at the blue line. Pass off target here on the near side, and icing will not be called, waved off. As Park City will go back to work. Hanscat taps it along for Airbury. And there near side will walk into the slot. A shot, he didn't have a whole lot on it, got a stick tied up. Back behind Buck Walter, trying to play it for Murray. He still kicks out right in front, still loose. Shot blocked in front, Richens with a save, still loose in front. And cleared only to the top of the point. Great job clearing that puck out of there by Murray. Still loose here on the near side as Murray now able to fire a pass. It's off target. This will be icing and blown dead with 10.22 to go. It's been all Park City so far here in this first period. Yeah, five to one shots. The ice seems to be tilted their way for sure. Murray's got to pick it up here offensively, you know, uh, not getting it done. Like you said, five one in shots for Park City. Park City gets a friendly bounce from the linesman, skates, but bounces back to the Spartans in the ice. The puck once more now at 10-12. Left to go here in our first period. Still no score between Park City and Murray. Face off back in the Murray zone, tied up in the face off circle. It's won by Park City down to the corner. Center pass is cut off by McKenna. He'll ring it up the near side boards, kept in by Elber, but he fanned on it. And it's all the way back. Walterson in a foot race with Hale back into the Park City zone. They get tied up, both take a tumble. And it's loose on the far side. Outlet pass finds Moeller, stolen away by McKenna, still loose on that far side and jammed back out to the center zone. Over on the far side, Nielsen, bouncing puck, tries to gather it, but it's offside on the Spartans. Just over six minutes gone here in our first period. Still no score as Park City wins the draw here to the near side DDD pass. Puck up in the air, McKenna bats it out. It's still loose here on the red line. Now Nielsen will skate it along. He gets jammed up at the blue line. Back is Pruka. Pruka will send it up to the far side. He'll unable to clear the zone though as Murray trying to get just their second shot of the game. Back behind is McKenna, looks for a pass in front at Hale, but Couple bodies to feed through as Ebert near side. Makes a spin move, has time to skate it now. He weaves through a couple more stick checks. Now can't get by Hale as a good defensive play from the captain. Yeah, real nice poke check there by Hale. And we're gonna get our first penalty. It's gonna go on the Spartans. And a check from behind, a two and a 10, upcoming to Stu McKenna. Oh, that hurts. That's a huge part of Murray's offense right there. Stu McKenna working the play back behind the net. Just takes an unfortunate, unfortunate hit from behind. That's a huge call. That's a huge loss for Murray. So 
The leading scorer for the Spartans, Stu McKenna, will have to sit a 10-minute misconduct along, along with the two minutes. As the first power play of the night belongs to Park City. A two-minute minor and 10-minute misconduct for checking from behind to Stu McKenna. Puck back in the Park City zone. Peterson near his side. Holds it in. Trying to set up a power play breakout here. Neither team found the back of the net on the power play last night. Or two nights ago, I should say. As an outlet pass finds Moeller, he'll skate it along. Three on one comes Park City. Moeller, far circle, scores! I just mentioned that no one scored on the power play in the last game. It took all of 15 seconds for Luke Moeller to find the back of the net on the power play, and the Miners have a 1-0 lead. I believe that might have been a Smith. Yes, you're right, that was, that was Alex Smith. That was a great, great shot from the dot right there. Great shot, 1-0 Park City. So Park City, a power play goal. They now have a 1-0 lead. Alex Smith is indeed the goal scorer. As I got my West Coast Renegade blue pads mixed up. Yeah, easy to do. <laughs> easy to do. Both playing on the same line, Moeller and Smith. And now here comes Park City, two on two. Clock loose on the far side, chipped up by Porter Smith, back out to the neutral zone. Park City strikes first in this winner take all game. Winner of this game takes home the title. Moeller into the zone. Locks in. Holds on the far side as the rest of the line changes up. He'll play it into the far corner, has Kalatsi. Kalatsi with a good night two nights ago in the first round of this two-part championship game. Kalazi also a huge physical presence for Park City. Once he, he gets going. As he fires a shot and it's in the pads of Richards to hold on. For a whistle there. Like I was saying, once Kalazi gets going, there's no, there's no stop in the physical presence from him. Face off on the far circle. 7.37 to go here in our first period. one nothing Park City. Who's on the far side? Hanscat will play into the far corner for Park City. As Hicks takes a hack at it. It's right back to Bear. He walks through, nice and pass. Has a man here on the back door looking for a man here on the near side that is stick, stick jammed up. And it's Elbert. Gloves one down in the neutral zone, trying to play it back in the Murray zone. It's picked up by King at the blue line. Hebert trying to press it along. Now it's back to Hale. Needed pass to Hicks. Plays up the far side as Nielsen. He's forced to just play it all the way down low. Still not a whole lot of offense for Murray in this one. They still have just one registered shot through 10 minutes of play. Walterson ahead, poked away by Murray at the red line. Now it's back to Hicks. Quickly pass along near side looking for Hale off of his stick. Now picked up here on the near side by Elwell. Sends one into the zone, picked up by Peterson. Now here come the Miners with speed. Weaving through traffic is Albert, and here he comes. Makes one move. He'll fire his shots off the glove of Richards. Who's here on the near side, Colazzi. Rubbed out of the play, trying to go back to the top of the point. Now Burnett, Burnett has it. Park City got a man wide open here for the, oh. Trying to find uh, Bear near side. Collision at the red line, now it's back to Klein. Back in his own zone. 6-10 to go in the championship game. And good check here on the near side. Burnett gets it back out to center ice before Fetzer will send it back in as no icing back is Klein. Klein with a nice move for Park City. Passes up the near side. It's off target. Shot from the point. It's a good save from Peterson. Park City will ice this puck, and the whistle will blow with 5.47 to go in the first period. It's 1-0 Park City. Yeah, finally a little pressure by Murray there. I think uh, Park City's riding the high and the momentum off of Monday night. Honestly, Murray just needs to play that they've played all year. They need to find their game that they've been playing all year, and they need to get it going quick because this isn't going to last for long. Murray just one regulation loss going into this tournament. 
Falling for just the second time to Park City two nights ago. Over here on the near side is Smith. Tied up by Park City and out the near side. As Moeller will just send one along. King will pick it up in his own end. Takes a hack from Peterson and turns the puck over. Here comes a shot. It's blocked in front. Spartans back the other way. Ashton Hatch. Ahead for Murray. Poked away as soon as he got past the blue line. It's back the other way now. Ehrler's going after it. He's canceled out. Moeller picks it right up, but it's a poke check. Park City in the middle of a change. Breaks out Murray. Three on four is a shot. Here on the near side. That was Richens. Trying to put that one home. Walterson bumped off the play. Puck still gets to the top of the point. Park City trying to clear. Stayed in by Richens. Waving through traffic. Finally has it poked away. It's right over to Moeller. On the end of his shift, he'll gain the red line and send it in. Both teams change up the lines as Hicksel skated along. His pass no. behind Hale. No icing waved off. Off of a Park City stick. Walterson back behind for Elbert, who go looking for Hanscat here in the near corner. Down to four and a half to go in the first period. Hanscat over the far side for Smith. It's by one man, now passes it here to the near side. And able to get it back out to center ice before Murray will center right back in. Walterson back for Park City, has to chip it. Nielsen cuts it off. He takes a check behind the net. Dylan Hill will play back down low, stolen away by the Miners. Weaving through traffic is Smith. He gets by one defender, gets by a second, poked away from him, stolen control as he passes it to the far side. It's right to Hill. Hill, outlet pass, looking for the near side, just off the stick of Smith, but skating along is Fetzer. He throws one on net to Peterson, who holds on for the whistle. Good to see all the school support out here and a near capacity crowd here at Steiner. Packed house for our championship game. As both student sections able to come out in full force for this final game of the season for both these teams. In and ahead is Smith. He'll go up the far boards. And it's getting rubbed out of play. It'll be a penalty coming up to Murray. As the man was tripped up the far side. Second power play of the night upcoming for the Miners. Going back to the student section here, Matt. A lot more Park City students than there were Monday night, don't you think? Yeah, full crowd over there. We only saw about two rows full back on Monday. The whole student section's here now, both sides. So the penalty number 24, it's Nate Richards to the box. Two minutes for tripping the call. And the second power play of the night for Park City, they're one for one. Smith with a goal 25 seconds into the first power play. Moeller will play it back down low, takes a bounce off the Zamdors. And Smith now controls. He had the power play goal, so he gives it to Moeller. Over on the far side, now Smith as they set up the power play. Top of the point. Hebert back to Smith. Dodges a stick check from Hill, has it to the top of the point. 20 seconds gone on the power play, so he goes back down low. Surveying options, floated pass over the net, looking for a man here on the back door. It's off target. Forces Abair to go back out, looking for Peterson here on the near side. Bouncing puck, settles back behind the net. Now loose near side, Moeller to the top of the point, Peterson. Back to Moeller near side, helping with the hash marks. Now comes to the top of the circle, now top of the point. Cross ice pass finds Abair. he'll fire a shot, it's blocked. Hale will get to the puck and clear. So good block from Jake Elwell and Dylan Hill getting the clear. Elwell really throwing that body down there to block that shot, great job. Back behind the net. On the liners, center pass here to the near side, Abair. He'll bring one into the offensive zone, now stops at the top of the circle, sets up the power play. 51 seconds left in it. Abair, top of the point now, Moeller. Lines up a wrist shot, save, and almost right on the doorstep was Kalazzi. Had a chance to put that one home. Good save. Just missed on that rebound. Good save from Richens on it as well, as here comes the man on the far side, Moeller with a shot, save, rebound! No, they're gonna wave it off! Kicked in is the call from Andy Van Wagner, no goal. Nice job by the official there to be definitive. No doubt about it. He saw it, he called it. Was in a good position to make that call as the puck rolled as it was kicked in by Park City. Face off comes back out to center ice. With 32 seconds left in the power play.
Just over two minutes to go here in our first period. Murray able to win the draw straight forward. Near side is Elwell, he'll send one in. Just wide of Peterson, now Walterson has it for Park City. Dodges a stick check, now the outlet pass finds Klein. Stops to the top, goes across ice pass off a skate, can't keep it on side as Klein. Forced back for Rieger, near side for Elbert. Over to the far side, picked up, and here come the Miners. A shot is saved by Richens. To lose as Hale wanted to play it. And Richens decides to tie it up instead. That was almost a dangerous play there. So just one second remaining in the Murray penalty. Colazzi will go in this draw against Elwell. And Colazzi wins it to the top of the point. Shot from Elbert, it's blocked in front. Pinballs around top of the crease, still loose. Picked up by Park City, Colazzi to Henderson. Gets it back to Colazzi near side, he winds up a shot, it's wide to the frame and clears the zone. Racing back Park City with 1.20 remaining in the first period. Up the near side, looking for Bear. he just taps it along and now it's two on two for Park City. Colazzi into the zone, toe drag, gets by a man, shoots one in front, Richards to save, loose on the doorstep, Pat saves, still loose to the top, and cleared over to the top of the circle. Murray back the other way, here comes Jetson Hicks. Not a lot of speed, now he gets by one stick check and forced to just regroup as Murray dodges a critical bullet there in the final minute. Wow, that was close, that was exciting. Great series from Richens right there, that was great resiliency. Murray keeps it on side. it's right to Park City though, Colazzi tried to poke it past the man, kept being it in is Zita. He gets roughed up and that'll be a penalty to Park City, the first one of the night. As Richens quickly to the bench, delayed penalty, six on five, now is Murray. With under 30 seconds now to go, puck off target. As racing back is number 14, Ashton Hatch, sixth man for Murray on this line. We're waiting for Park City to touch the puck in the center pass. Pinballs are around, still loose now. The whistle comes with just 15 seconds left. First penalty of the night to Park City. Real nice play by number 73, Robert Zito. Actually a goalie, but skating out for his team at Murray. Able to draw the call, and it's Colazzi that'll go over to the box. It's two minutes for interference. And the first power play night for Murray. With just 15 seconds left to go here in the first period. Going back to the first part of the period, Matt, one of their biggest penalty, or uh, excuse me, power play guys out with the 10 minute misconduct, Stuart McKenna. As Peterson has that underneath him, almost trickled behind him, able to hold on with just eight seconds left. McKenna just a couple of minutes left in his 10 minute misconduct. He'll be back here in the second period, but it's definitely a man who, that they're gonna miss here on the power play. 8.3 seconds to go here in this first period. Spartans win the draw, trying to get a shot off. It's poked away by Hanscat. Now Nielsen in the corner elects to just tie it up two seconds and one. And that will be it for period number one of the championship game. A power play goal from the Miners has them ahead. The Miners a 1-0 lead over the Spartans. Teams back out for the second period of our championship game. The teams will switch ends. Park City will move left to right here in the second period. Murray will move right to left. One nothing, your score. Penalties time still up on the board as the Spartans will begin on the power play. Back underway for the second period is Amer into his own zone. Park City on the kill here for the next minute. 35 is walking in. Nielsen now back end still loose and cleared one at the top of the point. Buck Walter able to keep it in. Here on the near side is Elwell. Lays it down low. Richens back to Elwell. Pass a little high. They play over here on the near side. Elwell can't control it. Buck Walter will keep it in. Minute 15 to go on the power play. Buck Walter down to Elwell. Roll to the hash marks, top of the circle, now cross ice pass, Hale, one time shot, just went wide. Ooh. And Park City will clear. That's had uh, some heat on it. That was a great shot from Dylan Hale, even from the point. 
Murray back in their own end. Buck Walter here to the near side for Hale. Under a minute now to go in the power punt. Students trying to get Murray back into it. He just trailed by a goal. Hale in the corner, gets by one man. Now weaves towards the center of the zone, finds a man in front looking for Smith, but his shot jammed up. Smith to the Buck Walter, top of the plane. Spartan set up once more. Smith looks for a center pass off the stick of Elwell. Trying to clear it as Park City it goes off of Hale, stays on side, but finally in Park City able to clear the zone. Caught Hale in the cage. Back is Buck Walter for Murray. Outlet pass. Hale just taps it at the red line. No icing as he goes all the way down. Murray will get to it first. Nielsen in the corner. Canceled out here on the near side by Walterson. Now a tie up behind the net. This near side picked up by Peterson. He'll clear the zone. Three seconds, two and one. That'll do it for the first power play for Murray. Scalazzi out of the box. Murray able to send it all the way into the zone. Now back for Park City. 83 Teddy Elbert. Has to hold it on that far side. Now retreats behind his net. Skates up the far side looking for Moeller. Backhanded pass. Another pass from Moeller. Not a lot on it. Able to keep it in is Murray. Weaving through traffic on that far side is Zito. Only got to about the hash marks. What is Zito giving him a problem over there? As we're going to get a penalty here. Looks like this one's going against Park City. It's a roughing call. It's to Moeller. Stu McKenna out of the box. Murray gets their top man back just in time for their second power play of the night. Yeah, this is a big opportunity for Murray. They need to capitalize if they can. 13 to six shots. Ice still tilted Park City's way, but Murray's starting to make some ground here. As you see Stu McKenna there, ready to take this draw for Murray. Second power play of the night. It's two minutes for roughing to number 59, Luke Moeller. Well, the new faceoff man. Jake Elwell, trying to win the draw, it's won by Hanscat straight forward. Now Elwell is still at back, still poking around. Now Hanscat, one man to beat, but a good poke check here on the near side by number 33, Nathan Fetzer. Aber, his pass off target, now Hale has it. Hanscat again applying pressure on the shorthanded attempt. As this puck goes into the standing Murray bench and out of play. Minute 39 of power play time, face off in the center zone. Just shy of the red line. And as the Spartans win the draw, Hale will push it along. Picked up by Park City, the back into the Murray end. Buck Walter back behind, minute 30 to go in the power play. Causing problems, Colazzi had Peterson in front, his shot was blocked, and now Buck Walter skates it ahead. Dodges one stick check, now he's got options. Nielsen leaves it McKenna, nice toe drag, walks in oh. and scores! He wasn't out there for the first power play. He is for the second, and it's a power play goal for Sue McKenna. What a shot. Goes up and over the glove of Andrew Peterson. Like I said earlier, big part of their power play missing when he had that misconduct. Back out there, dangerous weapon for Murray. Leading scorer for Murray gets it done, and we're tied at one. 12.58 to go here in the second period. He's got to love that goal after the uh, penalty. This is, uh, that was big for him. So after missing most of that first period after that 10 minute misconduct, he's able to get the goal that ties us up in the championship game. Murray's first goal of the state championship finals. They didn't score Monday. Looks like their student section's getting amped after that one, huh? We're back underway. It's an electric atmosphere. Uh, it's both teams fighting for this title. This is icing on the Spartans. And an offensive draw coming up for the Miners. Yeah, Utah High School Hockey does a great job of creating a good atmosphere here. It's all run by volunteers. 
coaches are volunteers. It's just a, it's just a great uh, sporting event. It's been a long time tradition here, especially at the Salt Lake City Sports Complex, the state championship game, being here the, over the last couple of years. Always a great turnout and always a spectacle to see here in the state of Utah. Great to see two new teams in it too. First year that Viewmont hasn't been in there for a few years. Viewmont's been running the table over the last couple of years. Two new counterparts. We saw Uento win a state title two years ago. Viewmont winning it last year. We'll have a new champion this year as well. Buck here on the near side. McKenna takes a poke at it. It's loose at the Murray Blue Line. Ellers will send one in. Holds on to it, looking for a center pass. It's cut off. Klein will help support. Ellers tried to send one in front. He blew a tire. Forces Murray to ring it around the near boards. And Dylan Hale surveys his options, looking for a McKenna. It's off target and icing it will be called. So an offensive draw with 2 all 11 left to go here in the second period. We're tied at one. A pair of power play goals for both teams. And a shot from Lippert is. Redirected on to Richens, he makes an excellent save. He's over on the far side is Elwell, he's pressured off the puck. Still able to hold on to it, trying to get through a couple of sticks. Bouncing back and forth, Buck Walter takes a poke at it. Now Peterson's got it for Park City. Miners trying to respond after that goal from Murray. First goal Park City's allowed, as Alex mentioned, is now walking in. Aver a shot, he didn't miss by much, as it's up and out of play. Referee saying the faceoff's going to be out of the zone. Looks like a hit off the crossbar on that one. A couple of big saves there by Rich. As that redirect was really a nice shot, and he was there. Bet he's happy he got his toe on that one, huh, Nate? Oh, yeah. Richens, of course, in that game against Viewmont to punch their ticket to this championship game. It was fantastic in that one as well. As Park City wins the draw. Palazzi comes in three on two. Wrist shot blocked in front by Buckwalter, and it breaks down Nielsen. Nielsen into the zone. He'll fire a wrist shot. Peterson will hold on for the save. Murray's starting to get uh, climbing back with their shot count tonight, huh? Coming back now, shots just 14 to 9 in favor of the Miners for about a period and a half of play. Face off one by the Spartans. Holding on that far side, trying to keep it in his Fetzer. Gets a hack at it. Now weaving back and forth, looking for a pass down low for Hill through his feet. Up the near side as the puck up into the stands as that goes up and out of play into the parents here on the near side. It's off one by the Miners, top of the point. Hicks has it stolen away. Now two on one comes Park City. Klein with a nice move. Comes here to the near side. Good back check from Nielsen, though. Able to let the stick and bring it back the other way. Coming Dylan Hale. Gets by one man. Can't get by the second. And it's good defensive plays on both ends. Only near side Stu McKenna. He's got the goal that tied us up. So he gives it to Nielsen in the corner. Trying to set up a cycle. It's stolen by Elbert. Only back behind the net now. Walterson will... Bringing up the far boards. Buckwalter can't keep it onside. It's right to Park City, but a poke check forces an offside call. Face off will be in front of the Murray bench. 10.36 to go in the second period. We're tied at one. Hebert trying to send one towards the neutral zone. It's stolen away by Zito. He'll poke at it, and it jumps up out of play. Face off will stay in the Park City zone. Face off here on the near side. Abair will go against Elwell, and now we'll have a new center for Park City. Smith able to win the draw to the corner for Park City. Well, behind the puck, uh, behind the net is Rich, and he sends one in front. Park City gets a stick on it. Another hack from Elwell down there in the corner, or excuse me, Richens. As Elwell is able to play that back down low to the corner. Teams tied up in that far. Corners, Burnett and Richens get together. Now, Richens really battling hard. Trying to dig after it, and the puck back out to neutral ice. Elwell has it stolen away. Aber now has it. Passes it to Smith near side. Smith, close one in. Blocker save from Richens. 
Hebert poked away by Buck. Walter holds in the corner. Back down low. Elbow will go after it. Up the near side. Back can over Zito. Stays in play as it comes out to neutralize. Robert Zito near side. I'll send one in. Albert back for Park City with 9.30 to go here in the second period. Over, puck over to the far side. Hanscat, quick outlet pass. Hebert quickly ahead for Smith. He's got the goal for Park City. Walks in with a shot. That's blocked by Hicks. Bounces in front. A head pass is called. No shot. It's a puck. Faceoff will come back out to neutral ice. Faceoff back in the neutral zone. It's one by the Spartans. DDD pass to Hicks. Tapped along here to the near side for Smith. It's forced off the puck and ices the puck with 9.09 remaining. Pace off back in the Murray end. McKenna goes against Colazzi. It's won by the Miners. Henderson a shot. Uh, it's loose here on the near side. That was number 14 in the faceoff circle for Murray. That's Aston Hatch, and he has the puck right now. Hatch gives it to Smith near side. He gets canceled out. And it's back out to center ice. Backhanded in by Fetzer. Up the far boards now. Park City with time as Murray's in the middle of a change. Colazzi. In the neutral zone, now in the offensive zone. He'll shoot off the skate of Hale. Buck Walter up the far side, a slap by Walterson. It's wide of the frame, now near side. Hale will ice the puck. And another whistle upcoming. 8.27 to go, icing on the Spartans. Another face off in the Murray end. This time it is McKenna for Murray that wins the draw to the corner. King, high off the glass, it's kept in. Here on the near side by Jenkins. Hale able to steal it away. Backhands it out to center ice. Looking for McKenna. Is about up and out of play. Seeing a lot of pucks go into the stands here tonight. 8.15 left to go here in our second period. Reaching the halfway point of our championship game. Tied at one. Two combatants tied, at, tied up in the face-off circle. Park City able to get it. Over towards the, Mert, the Park City bench as Buck Walter sends one in. Walterson near side. Outlet pass finds Klein. Tries to tap it along. He does. As Jenkins skates it along. Has Bowler with him. Jenkins in. Two on three comes Park City. Good cancel out now by Buck Walter. Good check. Loose now in the corner. Walterson pinches from his point. Now it's loose down low for Jenkins. Two Spartans down there trying to dig it out. They do. Buck Walter up the near side. Gets by one man. Plays it up for Hale. Looking for him, but just a little too far ahead of him. Now Klein, turnaround pass near side. Walterson will help put it into the far corner. Nice defensive play by Buck Walter there. Driving his man wide, clearing the puck. Park City's got too many men on the ice. We'll see if it's called. It's not. As here on the near side, Klein walks in and a pat save from Richens. Great save by Richens. Way to be in position right there. Buck loose at the top of the slot. Still holding on to it. Park City keeps it onside. Here's Smith. Holds in the corner, battling with Buck Walter. Now tries to walk in front. Back hit, score! <laughs> it's a two goal night for Alex Smith. Good the Miners back ahead in the second period. What a beauty by Alex Smith. Backhand, near side corner. Nice shot. It looked like Richens was in great position. It just slows in somehow. A nice lift to the backhand from Alex Smith. Two goals for him tonight, and the Miners lead 2-1. to one. 6.59 remains in the second period. First even strength goal from either team tonight, as this is icing on Murray, as the Miners have a one-goal lead once again. Boy, to your point, though, Park City really got away with one on that too many men. Same shift there that they all, that should have been called the too many men on the ice. It leads to a Park City goal. As the Spartans will have to play catch up once again. Buck back out to neutral ice, picked up by Zito. He'll skate it along, tries to get through two players, could not. As here on the near side, walking in is Lush off. He'll try to send one in front. Now Henderson a block in front by Hicks. He'll skate after, it's a two on one at the Spartans hurry. Has a man in front in Hitchens, but hey, uh, Hicks, shot by Hicks is a little high. And Richens on the back door on that two on one. 
Near side, Hicks able to keep it in the zone. Puck bouncing around now. Hicks will get a redemption chance. Sends one in front. Pinball's around. Penalty upcoming. As the teams get tied up in front of Peterson. Looks like it's going to be a hook. See who it's on. From the look of it, it's on uh, Haybear. I believe that's who's going to get the call. It's Hebert. He makes a skate over the box. It's two minutes for hooking. Needless to say, this is a big power play for Murray. We're able to tie it up with a power play goal from Stu McKenna. Coaches from Park City not really happy with that call. Just a jam play in front. Almost led to a good opportunity as Peterson was caught out of position. But it's a power play for Murray. They are one for two so far here tonight. Third power play of the night for them. McKenna had the power play goal that tied us up at one. As Elwell on the far side. Trying to set up a power play for Murray. Good pressure from Peterson. He'll turn around and fire it back out to center ice. Buck Walter near side. He'll play up the near side looking for McKenna. Couldn't corral that puck in Park City. He'll ice it. Buck Walter back battling with Colazzi. Is Able to hold off his stick check. Now gets by another man. Now stops. He gets tripped up in a five on three upcoming for Murray. Still loose. A one time shot. It's just wide by Elwell. Delayed penalty coming up for the Miners. Center pass is redirected just wide by Elwell. And finally a whistle. And a five on three upcoming. Tripping the call to the Miners. Murray can really use this five on three right now. They need a goal to get back in this game. Even if they get a goal with the five on three, they're still going to be on the power play. So 5.15 to go in the second period. It's Bo Peterson to the box. And a big power play for Murray coming up here with just over five minutes left in the second period. Park City able to win the draw behind the net is Klein. Digging after it is McKenna in there. Nielsen as well. Looks like number 83 Elberts in there as well as it comes to the top of the point. Hale tries to send one in front. Kicked away by Klein. It's loose. Klein sells out for it. Just missed. As Hale weaving through. Walks in. Saved by Peterson. Still loose in front and covered. As they get a late poke. And now the tempers start to flare. That's Elwell that went to poke at that puck. And I can't tell who it was from Park City. It looks like Elbert from Park City got a little upset with El uh, Jake Elwell coming in after the play. So Peterson with his biggest save of the night on that one. He's two to one. Face off one by the Spartans. They still have 45 seconds of five on three here to try and tie this game at two. McKenna, top of the point, Buckwalter has some time. He'll play it near side for Elwell. Back to top of the point, Buckwalter. Wrist shot off a skate. Over to Hale. He thinks about a shot. Instead holds at the top of the circle. Walks in. Shot score! We're tied at two! Dylan Hale, a CNI shot from the top of the slot, and it's a 2-2 game. A five-on-three goal for, for Murray. They've still got a power play with Peterson in the box. What a game so far. Great patience by Hale. He, he stayed, he looked, he waited to see that net, and then sniped it. So another power play goal for Murray. We're tied 2-2. Two two. The Spartans still on the power play. For another minute 15, it's Elwell a shot save, loose in front. Gosh, cleared out by the Miners. Murray with the momentum now after Park City's goal. It's been a back and forth affair. McKenna, top of the point, Hale just keeps it on side. Hale in the corner, under a minute now to go in the power play. We're still five on four. Loose in front, Scott score! The Murray fans are going nuts. Daxton Neal 
Nelson has Murray ahead for the first time tonight. What a goal, what a pass by Dylan Hill. Daxton Nielsen, someone who's been on the third line all night, gets a goal to put Murray up 3-2 here in the winner-take-all state championship game. Hale was a man possessed both of those last shifts. He was just doing everything right. So Daxton Nielsen has the goal. First lead of the championship finals for Murray. As now it's Park City for the first time has to respond with a goal of their own. Moeller looking to do just that. His shot is blocked to the top of the point, Burnett. Over the far side, chipped out by Richens. It's all Murray right now. The momentum's on the left side of the ice. It is now Park City trying to respond. And here comes Colazzi. Tries to leave it for Moeller. Instead finds Bear. He fires a backhand, loose in front. Takes a couple hacks at it. Richens looks like he's got it. Squirts out and it's cleared into the near side. Top of the point, still a lot of traffic in front. Burnett a shot, it's blocked by Hicks. Still loose, Murray tries to ice the puck, it goes off a player, only to neutral ice. What chaos. Murray's, Murray's really playing with some fire now, aren't they? Park City almost had another answer as it's loose here on the near side. Walterson battling with Richens, they tie each other up. Back to center ice. Hicks will send it in, things start Everyone able to take a breath here as it's been end-to-end -end action here in the second period. What a fantastic game so far. Hicks near side looking for Fetzer. It's off target, but it's no icing off of a stick. Walton able to poke it away from a man that's still loose down low, now picked up by Elwell. He'll backhand it down low. Burnett gets the stick on it, rings it up the far side boards, kept in by Murray. Top of the point, bulk Walter. Spartans looking to go up by two. They Turn the puck over on the far side. Now skating up ahead is Walterson. He'll gain the red line and clear. Good shift from the defenseman on that one. Judson Hicks here near side. Tips it back out to center ice. Park City brings it off the glass here to the near side. Colazzi trying to press it ahead. And as Peterson centers the pass behind Colazzi, picked away. Sent back out to center ice. Coming up on two minutes to go here in our second period. The Spartans have a 3-2 lead. As Peterson holds in the neutral zone, he'll send one in. Um, hard around the boards, Dylan Hale will be the first one there for Murray. He backhands it back out to center ice where Albert sends it back in. Back and forth they go. Park City into the offensive zone, they'll change. As Buckwalter up ahead, has Nielsen, has the goal that puts Murray ahead. He kicks a big hit from Smith at the blue line. Nielsen had his head down, Smith caught him, caught him in the open ice. That was a great hit by Alex Smith. Murray trying to get it in the zone as they were on the delayed offside as Martins will finally send it in. Hale doing it that time. Racing after it is Porter Smith. He just misses a poke check. Albert now holds for Park City. Chipped up the far boards, kept in by Fetzer. He'll send it down low, has Smith. Out in front, stolen away by Smith. And he'll skate it along, weaving back and forth. Bolts one high in the zone. Ehrler is look, was looking for him. Now they pass stolen away. Back the other way. Smith canceled out. Uh, high off the glass by Park City. Off the stick of King. Settles behind. We're down to the final minute of our second period. Spartans with a 3-2 lead. As Hale will float one in. It's gloved down. No hand passes. It's in the defensive zone. Now Moeller will skate it along. He takes a tumble. The bullet gets right back up. Tries to chase after McKenna gets a stick on it. It's right to Bear, weaving through, top of the slot. He'll shoot, save Richards. Loose here on the near side, they jam it, and big save from Mike Richards. Wow, that's all I could say after that one is wow. What a sprawl from Mike Richards. Super athletic by Richards. I liked how Bear wheeled through the high slot there, got off a nice shot, the rebound was there, but Richards was going to deny. Able to just stretch that glove out on the... Near post and denies Park City the tying goal with the final 28 seconds here. Save of the night for Mike Ridgen. Definitely save of the night right there. Ace off here on the near side. Final 30 seconds of our second period. McKenna has it underneath him. Now Muller takes a hack at it and the Spartans will ice it. Racing after it. No, it only gets to the blue line. Took a deflection off somebody. 
As Muller able to race around, he's got 10 seconds. Final rush here for Park City, trying to tie the game before the period ends. It's stolen away, hits the linesman at the red line and breaks out Jake Elwell. Inside the zone, he'll shoot. It's held on by Peterson as the horn sounds. And that'll do it for two periods of play in the championship game, a thrilling contest here in a winner-take-all battle. The Murray Spartans have a 3-2 lead over the Park City Miners. Ready to begin our third period. The Spartans with a 3-2 lead. And the team's back out on the ice to start. Murray is in the black, moving left to right. Park City in the white, right to left. Who's going to take home the title? We'll find out over the course of the next 16 minutes. Again, five on five teams at center ice. And the puck is dropped for the third period. Can the Spartans hold on, or will the Miners make the comeback? As Park City in their own end, Kalatsi back behind. Floats a pass up the near side. Hale has time with a turnover, rings the near post and out of play. Again, that laser shot making a making an effect for uh, for Andrew Peterson. Barely got his glove on that, made it hit off the post and go out of play. So face off, back in the neutral zone. As Elwell will try and just kick it along. It's stolen away by Park City at the blue line. Now it's back to Zito. Sends it into the far corner, has Klein now. Line floats one ahead, a little too far ahead as Hicks will keep it onside. Now poked away from him as Walterson tries to clear the zone. He does check in front of the Park City bench and it's back into the minor zone. Near side, Albert pokes it along looking for Moeller. Off of his stick back to center ice. Murray will send it right back in. Murray with a 3-2 lead, their first lead of this championship series. They're falling four to nothing in the first game back on Monday. Klein on the far side, backhanded, it's out of the zone. Murray will send it back in, tag out on the late offside. Up the near side, chipped off the boards. Up right the here, head. right here, Klein playing without a glove. Only has one, it's all the way back in his own end as this puck was up and out of play with 14.42 to go. Off one by the Spartans, 14.40 to go in the championship game as Buck takes a funny bounce off the glass near side. It's kept in by Hanscap. Pulling away by McKenna, he'll bring it back behind the net. And over to the far side has Hale. He'll float it high in the air. Park City will chase after the clean ice. And now Nielsen has a step on a backhand and a good save from Peterson. Back out to center ice. Hale's pass denied at the red line. Gets it right back. He'll throw it up the near side off target. This is icing on the Spartans. Off back in the Murray end. Match will go against Palazzi. That's one by the Miners over the far side. Peterson will send it behind. That's Colazzi waiting behind the net. Sends one in front. It's off target looking for Smith. Back out to center ice. Elbert near side. Too far for Smith to corral. It's back to Buckwalter. He's up the near board. Smith cuts it off, but it's not onside. As Peterson will throw one in on net to Richens. Back is Buckwalter. Good Ooh. check on the far side. Peterson lays the lumber. As Park City stays on side, Smith kept it there. Quickly back out though, Albert. Battling with a racing hail here on the near side, able to get it out for a moment. So loose here on the near side. Park City with time, they'll skate it along for Smith. It's cut off by Hale, he'll keep the zone. As he gives it away to Walterson. He'll skate it along, looking to split the D. He gets by Hale, near side, throws one into the zone. And Park City will change up the line. Hook off the stick of Richens. This will go for Icy. No way. Yeah, it is blown dead. Just a late whistle there with 13 13 to go. Park City coming out playing the body. A couple of physical hits here to start this third period. They're trying to get back in it. They're down by a goal. 
three power play goals for Murray. It's been the difference. At five on three, Murray cashing in twice on it. As Moeller trying to keep it in the zone. McKenna pokes it away, but it's right to Abair. But he has it stolen away. Nice play by Zita. Park City back in their own end. Abair trying to come around the blue line, has it poked away from him. Retreats all the way deep into their own end. Burnett back to the far side. Now outlet pass has a man on the far side off his stick. We won't make it for icing. It's just rung around the boards by Fetzer. Here's that McKenna, holds on to the puck. Turns around with a clearing pass. It's kept in the zone by Walterson. Takes a deflection off a shin pad. Xavier down low looking for LeShop. Still loose back behind there as pass comes out in front and the Spartans will ice it. It's going to be on net though, so that'll cancel out the icing call, give Murray a chance to change up the line. Mark City now will try again. Here comes Walterson, has some speed. Weaving back and forth, gives it to the near side from Moeller. He throws one in, Richens is saved, it's still loose in front. Picked up by King, rings around the far side. Park City will try to keep it in, they do. Hanscat takes a check for his efforts as he keeps it in his own. Under 12 minutes now to go in the championship game. Moeller tries to send one in front, it's canceled out. And it's Pruka over to the far side now. As a man on the far side, number 83, Elbert. City in the offensive zone, into the slot, a shot's blocked, bounces on to Richens. Holds on for the whistle. Face off on the far side, the glove side of Mike Richens in the Murray zone. It's won by Park City, but too well by the Miners as it goes all the way back into their own end. Colazzi with that draw for Park City. Here on the near side, Elwell just takes a hack at it. It's loose in the corner. Walterson does the same. Takes a bounce over the stanchions and all the way down for another icing call. Eleven twenty-three to go in the championship game. Murray still holding on to a 3-2 lead. Thanks to the goal from Daxton Nielsen. He's down low, Dylan Hale now holds in the corner. Looks for a center pass, pinballs off a skate, now top of the point. Going on Fetzer, fires a shot, it's kicked away by Park City. Fetzer will try again, this one wide, but bounces out to the far side. Hale winds up a shot, Peterson make the save. Who's here on the near side? Jenkins trying to clear the zone, takes a hack at it, stays on side though. Bring it up the near side, Park City finally clears the zone. It's only to the red line, it's Fetzer's pass. Pinballs around in the neutral zone. Trying to skate it ahead is Kalatsi. Only able to get it to about the hash marks before Murray sends it back the other way. Here comes Nielsen. Not a whole lot of possession on the puck. Has it hooked away from him. Now near side, Kalatsi sends it into the Murray zone. Nielsen near side for Murray. Quick out, turnaround pass is out of the zone. And back to Hicks. Walks in. Look out, a big hit looking for Jenkins. He ended up taking the brunt of it on that hit. Up the near side, McKenna. Spartans trying to add to their lead here. Plays it down low, has Richens, sends one in front. Peterson able to turn it aside. And it's now Walterson holds. Up ahead, Peterson just forced to play it along. Buck Walter now has it, plays it up the far side. Zito couldn't control. Back to Park City, now stolen away by Zito. He comes in two on three, leaves it for Richens. Richens a shot, it's blocked here to the near side. Getting up the near side is Park City. Alterson has it turned over. Zito has it in his feet. He takes a check for his efforts by Smith, uh, excuse me, Moeller. And now Pruka behind the net. Tries to chip it past Richens, stolen away. Now McKenna has it for Murray. Gets by one man, sends one in front, as a man shot, star! Pass here on the near side, fires a top shot, and it's a two goal lead for the Spartans. What a backhand there from Jake Elwell. Gets right over the glove of Andrew Peterson. What a goal. Able to find that puck on the near post and just lifted it over the glove 
of Peterson, and it's now a two-goal lead for the Spartans. 9.26 to go here in the championship game. Real nice work by Robert Zito at the blue line to hold that puck in. Here comes Elwell looking for more. He has an opportunity, but the puck fails him. And he comes to the corner. Elwell again. Turns around a shot. It's wide. Loose on the far side, Burnett. Backhand up into the students as one of the Park City students will throw the puck all the way back out onto the ice. Murray students over there starting to chant at Park City. <laughs> They've been going at it all game. A very, very full student sections on both sides tonight. Been fun to watch. Face off back in the Park City end after that puck went out of play. Loose near side. Park City needs an answer here in a hurry. They're running out of time, now trailing by two. Largest deficit for them here in this championship finals. A pass in front, shot, score! They answer quickly! Ehlers in front! Jackson Ehlers at the top of the crease, and it's a 4-3 game. Park City responds. Great assist by Daniel Hebert. Wheeling behind the net, sending it out front, one time in. Great job trailing by Bear as well. He trailed that play, took the, took the puck from uh, a held up Alex Smith, and uh, gave that puck to Ellers right in, front of, right in front of the net. Perfect play. So I mentioned that Park City needed to respond in a hurry. They did. And it's back to a one goal game with under nine minutes to go. Burnett over far side. Hale able to center onto the near side. Now the Park City students Starting to feel the momentum shift their way. Murray trying to turn the tide. His shot is deflected off a skate, goes off the side of the net. Now Park City trying to skate it ahead. Here's Klein, gets by one man, can't get by McKenna. And see, they'll send it back into the zone. Momentum swings a plenty here in this championship game. As it's loose to the blue line, Murray was offside for a moment. Now it's back onside as Klein holds for Park City. Klein takes a tumble. Park City wants to call, they won't get it. And it's here on the near side. Burnett, top of the point. Buck Walter holds his own. Two on two battle near side. Elwell in the corner. Has the fourth goal for Murray. And has it chipped up the near side. Moeller has it, and a hand pass, I believe, is called on Park City. Face off just at the top of the circle in the Park City zone. It's won by Murray, but out of the zone. Now down to 7.45 to go in the championship game for three Murray. Park City with time. Albert up the far side, has it come right back to him. He's looking for Peterson on the far side. Big hit. Number two, Porter Smith. And now up the near side comes Nielsen. He'll fire a shot on net. Peterson with the save. Albert, far side, looking to break the puck out. He does, takes a check for his efforts as Palazzi had it. It was stolen away by Peterson, his own teammate. And bounces right to Walderson. He walks in, has the puck, turn around, back catch shot, rebound, score! It's a tie hockey game with 7.09 to go. Park City answers back with a couple of their own. They're starting to play with that urgency that they've needed to play with all night. We're starting to see it both sides now. Murray's starting to feel it. Park City's try it, starting to feel it. And now let's see who will bend and break first. So we're back to where we started. Tie hockey game, four to four. Hale looks for the answer. No, lose their side, they score! Nielsen again! Back ahead!
Max Nielsen right in the perfect spot. Rebound goal, just Hill, uh, Dylan Hale's shot just ricochets off the glove of Andrew Peterson. And that's Daxton Nielsen right there, right there, and uh, just puts it home, puts Murray in a 5-4 lead. So just like that, Murray is back on top, 5-4. to four. It's Second goal of the night, Daxton Richens. What a night for him. That's the fourth and fifth goals for, or third and fourth, uh, fifth goals for Murray. As another turn in the tide here in this one. Mur Park City looking for an answer. Colazzi trying to send it to the front of the cage. Stolen away by Murray. Now back out to center ice. Elbert gives it into the zone. King now has it. He'll send it up the far. Boards picked up over on the near side. Walterson back out to center ice. Back and forth we go. Bachwalter looking for Hale near side, poked away, still loose. McKenna brings it in, but offside on the play. So 6-21 remains in the championship game. The Spartans still holding on to a one-goal lead. After back-to-back -back goals. As puck loose here on the near side. It's picked up by the Miners. Henderson in the corner will be pressed there by Murray. Back loose. Puck goes up out of play. Rexy just touches the bottom of the netting there in an uh, offensive draw. No, it'll come back outside. You almost don't want to see this game end, huh, Maddie? It's been back and forth. It's been an entertaining contest, that's for sure. Only 6.03 left in it. Face off back in the neutral zone. Hebert against Elwell. It's won by the Spartans. Back to Hale. Hale sends it in. Peterson will come out to play and leaves it behind the net. Elbert trying to get there first. Richens got a stick on it. Down near side, Park City. Can't clear the zone, it's kept in by Fetzer. As racing in now, Walterson will chip it up the far boards. This one gets out of the zone. Murray has to tag up on the delayed offside, and they'll blow it dead as Richens ahead of that play. So 5.36 remaining in the championship game. Face off in front of the Park City bench. Squirts out to Murray. McKenna off of that face off will just send it in. Nielsen in the corner. He's on half trick watch now. With two goals to his name tonight. Up the far side. Park City comes along two on three. It's sent in by Klein. Smith will go after it. Pumps off a man, still loose behind the net. Hale will bring it up the near side. Hanscat will cut it off. Park City looking for an answer here. Five minutes to go. Puck squirts out. Now McKenna weaving through. Tips it up ahead for Nielsen through his feet. Henderson will race back for it for Park City. He'll leave it for Smith. Outlet pass. Finds his man in Klein. Two on two comes Park City. The man gets tripped up. Another one. Another potential call there for Park City. And as we keep skating. Hale looks for the home run pass off the skate of McKenna. Near side, Peterson now holds on. Leaves it behind, Walterson now has it. Third collision on that far side. Now Walterson gets by one man. Now Park City's got numbers. Walterson with speed, costs the puck up, right to Peterson. He fires a shot that just went wide. Loose here on the near side. Elbert will keep it on side. Is, and it turns the puck over. Murray ices this one, and that will be a whistle with 4.17 to go. A one goal lead. Or Murray. So we'll see when and where the Miners will use a timeout. We'll probably see it here in the next minute or two. We'll also keep an eye on Peterson in the goal. Coming up in about two more minutes, 4.17 to go in the game. Murray able to bring it ahead. Now Richens has it poked away here on the near side. Gets it right back, battling with Burnett now in the corner. Blue. Muscle it towards the front of the net. Now gets it back. Still loose. Pinballs around now top of the crease. Still loose. Elwell has it. Turns around. A shot. It's wide. 
He'll lose down low. Now it's picked up by Park City. Will play up the near side for Moeller. Moeller has to retreat. He'll take a check for Melwell. Puck stays in the zone. Top of the point, Zito trying to send it down low. It's cut off in the feet of Moeller. Still loose. Now Colossi will pick it up. Still loose as Burnett has it poked away from him. He's battling one-on-one -on -one in the corner. Colazzi helps out for Park City. He'll chip it up the near side boards and takes a hit. Moeller near side. Park City trying to tie this game back up. Peterson into the zone. Top of the point, Moeller. Walks in, weaves around a man, now walks in. Good poke check from Hale, but still comes Park City. Moeller centers in front. Through a couple of feet, still loose there. Colazzi with a shot up the side of the net. Ends up going behind. Moeller, another backhanded pass. Buckwalder got a stick on it. Still in the zone, though. And finally, Paul Murray able to clear. No icing as this goes all the way back. Henderson back for Park City. Under three minutes now to go. Up ahead is Smith. Here comes Park City with Aber. Smith, a shot. Takes a deflection off the glass. Bounces out in front. Settles on the side of the net. And Richens will hold on. Smith also on hat trick watch, as you said, about uh, Daxton Nielsen. So we can watch out for uh, Alex Smith going for one more as well. Richards with a good save, only 2.44 left in the season. Murray trying to close it out for a state title. Park City trying to tie it back up. Huck pinballs around, now loose to the top of the point. Alderson kept it in for a moment. Now it's back out to center race. And all the way back into the Park City at two and a half to go. We'll keep an eye on Peterson. See when Park City will elect to pull him for the extra attacker. Up ahead, looking for A Bear, the pass off target. Hale was content to ice the puck, but it's on net to Peterson. Good, uh, good shot from Hale there. Able to keep it from an icing call and an offensive draw. Now here comes A Bear. Into the zone, 2.08 to go. Smith bumped up the puck, but right to Abery. Looks for a floated pass, has a man. Walterson tips, still loose on the back door. Richard out of position, but the good poke check from Murray. Able to put it behind the net. Now Buckwalter up the far boards. Case in the zone, Zito hacking at it. Still two teams battling. Now it's back out to center ice. A big defensive play for Murray. Absolutely, what defense. They just all collapsed on the net and got that puck out of the crease. Great job by Murray defense. Hebert into the zone, has Colazzi in front. A lot of black jerseys there as well. Hebert floats a pass, deflected, but it keeps on side. We're down to 90 seconds. Still in that is Peterson. As Park City tags up on the delayed offside. Murray can ice this one as Elwell elects to. And now an offensive drop coming with 120 to go. And this might be where we see the timeout called from one of these two teams. And it's going to be Park City. Park City with a smart timeout here. Josh Angevine going to draw up a play probably to uh, get Peterson out of the net, get that extra attacker on, and hopefully tie up this game for the Park City Miners. City has an offensive draw with 120 to go, trying to tie this thing up. Yep, and if you notice, Andrew Peterson starting up at the top of the circles. It looks like if they're going to win this draw, they're going to pull him off the ice and get that extra attacker. Park City electing to go five on five for this draw. They win it. They'll go six on five. McKenna against Colazzi for this faceoff. Tied up, loose. Turnaround shot from Smith. Caught the glass. Peterson still has to wait as the puck is back out to center ice. 1-10 to go in the championship game. Park City trails by one. Murray trying to close it out. Dylan Hale sends it all the way down the ice. The extra attacker is on for Park City. We're six on five the rest of the way. Final minute of regulation. Murray looking for the dagger. Just goes wide and icing the call. That close to a state title for Murray. Oh, man. If that puck is on net, it's absolute pandemonium from the Murray Spartan fans. 
So if you're Park City right now, you get another chance to talk it over. What's the mindset on the bench? Your mindset is get pucks to the net. You've already got 30 shots on goal. You're wanting to get 40 by the end of the game. At least if you don't score. And if you're on the Murray side, what's the mindset for them trying to close out these final seconds? Defense, defense, defense. Don't let those pucks get to the net. Block those shots if you have to. Get them, dump them down. I don't care if you got an icing. Just get the puck out of the zone. So another thrilling finish in a state championship game. Murray trying to close it out. They lead five to four. 53.9 seconds to go, empty net on the Park City end. McKenna will go against Palazzi one more time for another critical faceoff. Faceoff picked up by the Spartans. This one has a chance going wide left this time and another icing. So Murray can send to just Send that puck down the ice and hope good things happen. Exactly, that's all, that's all they're supposed to do in this situation. Reset once more, this time it'll be Smith against McKenna. Smith wins the draw, right to Muller, quick one shot, shot redirected in front. Goes wide to the corner, Hale will ice this one, it goes on net, here's Elmo, trying to close it out for Murray, he gets tripped up, goes hard into the net. As the puck stays out, but a power play for Murray with 36 seconds left. And it might be a penalty shot. There, uh, there won't be a penalty shot here, Matt. The net was empty, so it would be an automatic goal if they did. And that's, that's what they're going to call. So it is a good goal, as Alex just said. No goaltender in the in the net from Park City. A penalty on would have been a penalty shot if a goalie was there, but it's a good goal for the Spartans, and that might win them the championship. Wow, what what an end to an absolutely awesome game. As as you know, Park City played their hearts out. There's still 36 seconds left on the clock. A lot can happen. They're gonna have to hurry. They bring it into the offensive zone. Still empty net on the other way. This one sends it, rings off the far post. As Hale was that close from his second of the night. 26.3 to go. Once again, Murray just trying to fire pucks out of their zone, hopefully on the net, since, the, since there's still no goalie in the Park City net. Ready to go back underway. Face off one by Park City. Moeller walks in front, has it poked away by Hale. Final 22 seconds here. Clearing attempt by Murray's blocked. Still loses McKenna's. Two, now three miners enter the play. They dig after it with 15 seconds and a whistle blows with 13.7. And another face off is upcoming. I think they might get uh, Alex Smith here on a penalty. And that will be the call here. It's a cross check to Alex Smith, and now the Miners on the kill. The rest of the way here, 13.7 is all it stands for Murray in a state title. It looks like Park City's gonna keep their goalie, uh, Andrew Peterson, on the bench. They're gonna play five on five here for the rest of the game. So five on five, faceoff will come outside the zone. 13.7 to go here in this championship game. Net empty for Park City. It's off one by the Spartans, so look for the empty net. They gain the red line, Avert near, Aver near side. And as we get another whistle, another penalty with 6.1 to go. This game's got all kinds of sloppy here in the final seconds. Another penalty to Park City. Penalties have just absolutely killed Park City tonight. As uh, three, I think three or four goals have come off of penalties from Park City for Murray. So Palacio go for that last penalty and just 6.1 seconds left in this one. The Spartans will win the state title. Wait, just waiting for the faceoff here. We're now five on four as Park City wins it straight forward. Three seconds, two, 
and one. The Spartans bounce back for the win. Murray, your 2017 high school state champions. What a game here tonight between Murray and Park City. Congratulations to the Murray Spartans. A hard fought game from the Park City Miners. Uh, like I said before, penalties just killed Park City tonight. So a valiant effort from both these teams. You gotta give credit to Park City. They battled time and time again. They won to force this game. And as they came up just short, Murray, two goals late. A big response, and they win the state championship. 6-4 the final. So Murray, your 2017 Utah High School Hockey State Champions at the Division I affiliated level. They beat the Park City Miners 6-4 in the championship game. Sue McCann, Sue, first off, you guys are national champions, or state champions, that's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, uh, it's, cra it's a crazy feeling. We've been working at this for three years, it's crazy. You guys lost in the championship game to Viewmont last season ago. How big is it to get that redemption this year? Uh, it's really big, especially as we beat them in the last game to be 
to get here. And then losing that last game, I, I started to get a little worried, but I knew we could come pull it off. What was the feeling after Monday night? You guys, 4 nothing shutout, you guys got blanked out there. What was the mindset going into tonight's game? Um, I think we just, had to, we just had to settle it down. I think we were a little too cocky coming into it. We just thought, I don't know, we have a two-game gap. We can just pull it off first, but I don't know. We just had to focus in. You had the first penalty at 2-10 at the beginning of the game. You guys go down the goal on that power play. You come back out, first power for you guys. You put the back puck in the back of the net. What was that like? I, I don't know. I just The whole world went silent. It was crazy. I don't know how to explain it. When you guys gave up that fourth goal, you were tied. You guys scored just seconds after. What was your coach telling you after you guys gave up that goal? I th He just said, just go out, play our game. Don't like, because they obviously had momentum. We knew that goal was big, and we couldn't let it get to us. We didn't, and it was, that was a big goal. That's, that fifth goal was big. You guys get the goals in the end there. What's the feeling like when those final seconds go and you know you guys are going to be state champs? Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know how to explain it. You guys are state champions. What will you take away from this year? Um, I think just hard work. I don't think there are a lot of teams with a lot of talent, but we're a team that just comes out and works hard every game, and I think that's what we got to do next season to come win again. Sue, you're a state champion. Go celebrate. All right, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Sue. <laughs> All right, Murray, you're state champions. We're here with Daxton Nielsen. Daxton, two goals for you tonight, the game-winning goal. First off, take us through that last one to put you guys up for good. You know, Dylan was out there, and he was freaking wheeling. And all I had to do was put it in the net once the goalie was out of position. It was really an easy goal, and it got us the game. You guys just gave up a goal like 20 seconds before that even happened. What was the mindset for you guys when they tied it up late and you guys responded that quickly? You know, we know that we're not a team that scores a lot of goals, but we know that we're a team that will keep going no matter what. So we just knew that we had to keep skating and we got the goal. You guys lost on Monday 4 now that you had a chance to close it out. What was the mindset coming into tonight? You know, I think that loss was better for us in a way. It got us into the mindset that there's no way that we're going to come out and blow out any teams. So we came into this game ready to freaking play a game. When those final goals come in, the horn sounds, what's the feeling? You know, it's indescribable. You know, I really can't describe it. It's just being a state champion, there's no other experience like it. And especially like me being a sophomore, it's, it, it's good forewarning for the rest of my years. You guys failed in this uh, championship to Vermont last year. Now you're back. You're state champions. How mu how big is that for you guys to get that redemption? You know, I play with a lot of the guys on Vermont, and I love those guys. But this year, we knew we had to get the W. It was what we wanted, and we came out here to win. You're a state champion. How's it feel? We're state champions. All right, Daxon, congrats, and go celebrate. Thank you so much. <laughs> Murray wins the state championship. We're here with Coach Hill. Coach, a 4-0 loss back on Monday. Kind of a humbling experience. You guys come out, you get redemption after last year and on Monday. How's it feel? I know. it was. I, I thought about talking to you the other day, and I'm like, man, we just got beat. And uh, I didn't know what to think. You know, it's hard to bounce back after that big loss. But our guys, they faced adversity all year. We've never gone out and blown people away. We've had to dogfight every game, every shift, and that's what it takes to win games like this. If you come out and you beat everybody and things come easy, I think it's tougher. But we've fought these games for, for all year. You guys give up that power play goal. Your top scorer stays in the box for 10 minutes. You guys get your first power play. When he comes out, he capitalized it. How big was that for you guys to get back in it? That was an amazing goal. I mean, the moves that he did, upper shelf, amazing goal. It got our team going. It got our crowd going. And that was such a sigh of relief for us to get that goal. And that's like, now it's time for us to get to Murray Hockey and, and get after it. You guys take a lead into the third period. You get that break to try and talk to the guys. What was your message in that intermission? Well, just I wanted them to take a break and take a breather. And um, two goals is nothing. Um, and uh, we just needed to come out and, and play our game. And, and uh, I, I, pr I preach perfect hockey. That's been our motto all year. And I wanted that in the third period. And, you know, they jumped on us, but we came back and got another one to, to kind of help us. Yeah, speaking of which, you guys get that goal right after they tied the hockey game. How big was that for you guys? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I just can't describe the, 
the emotions going down two to nothing or getting those two goals and and them tying it up four to four. But our team just battles and I'm not surprised at all that we scored that goal. You guys get the late goal as well to kind of steal it. The final seconds, what's running through your mind as a coach? I just, you, you know, you spend so much time and effort and you do films and dinners and you, you try to build excitement with the fans. And it's just so fun to see all the hard work and, and the kids come together when they deserve to and, and win it. It's just, it's, it's amazing. That's what it's all about to see, to see all these kids happy and, and knowing that their dreams and goals uh, were fulfilled tonight. You guys are state championships. What will you take away as a coach this year? Just that hard work pays. It's just, you can't take shortcuts. You got to come out every shift, every practice. You got to sell out for everybody that's wearing the same color as you. And, and have each other's backs. It's a family, it's heart, it's teamwork. That's what we That's what we do. What can you say about the students? Everybody was out in full force tonight. It's so fun. It's just so fun to be to be uh, in front of them and to see how excited they get. And it's, it's awesome, that's what it's all about. Well, you guys are state championships. Go have fun with it. Oh, thank you very much.